Hello and welcome to Football 10 of all the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football related category and today we're joined by Nepenthes. How are you doing? I'm good mate, how are you? Very good indeed. Um, you know for your FIFA, but it's nice every now and then just to show that you actually have some ball knowledge as well. Yeah, but last time we did something together, I failed miserably, didn't I, to be fair? To be fair, we did tic-tac-toe, wasn't it? Yeah. You put loads of like Chinese yeah. Wuhan 3 towns and stuff like that. It was good for the comments, a lot of engagement, which is good to see. But yeah, today we're here purely for football, no, no FC24. So, for the first category, uh, what I'd like you to name me, Nep, in five minutes is 10 Swedish players to play in the Premier League. And your time starts now. Right, we've got Lindelof. Yep. Ljungberg. Yep. Brolin. That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know if you know, knew that or not. He plays for Leeds, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Um, we've got Larsen and Larsen, Henrik and Sebastian. Good. Good specificity. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ibrahimovic. Ibra. Um... Already on six, and you've only had 30 seconds. Yeah. Take time. Let's <laughs> make the video longer than uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, just rattling off the ones that I knew, first of all. Yeah, now, yeah. now I'm a bit stumped. No, it's, yeah, these last three or four will be where the uh, the knowledge is. There's actually a lot more than I thought, to be honest, when I gave I was like, wow, it's whether you know them or not, obviously. Yeah, I don't from now. I mean, it should be reasonably easy. Like, yeah. You know, like, you'd, like West Ham's and Villas are the sort of teams that would have had loads of them there's going to be some like glaringly obvious ones that people are like how can you not remember i just can't remember have i got like the number one or does it just go from 10 up there's no particular number one i'd no. say like lindelof and ebra stick out a lot yeah. um the ones that are remaining this there's there's, mm, there's a few you, you could definitely get just think of the league at the minute i'd say league at the minute yeah olsen he it wasn't is... one i was thinking of there is an olsen yeah the goalkeeper in it yeah um, if he's not, it's, I, I'm still thinking of the one that's not a goalkeeper as well. There's a goalkeeper as well. Is it the goalkeeper? Oh, what's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin, Robin Olsen. Yeah, there I'll we go. Yeah. That, so that wasn't the Olsen that you was thinking of? Well, there's there's more, basically. Well, I'll go for another it's Olsen quite a common then. name. <laughs> <laughs> I another... need his first name, Nep. I need, oh, I, need... No, 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 I think he's like Olf, Olsen that's... Olsen or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Three to go, and you got half your time left. All right. Plenty of time. All right, Ilanga. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Come yeah. On. At Forest now. Was Carew Swedish? Carew. John, John Carew. Oh, big John striker. Carew. Yeah. Was John he Swedish? Carew is not tenable. He's a Norwegian. So there's ah, one of the lives gone. There you go. Wait, how many lives do I get? Uh, three. Oh. <laughs> I probably should have explained this <laughs> <Yeah>. to you. <laughs> Just go in there. There you go. You got some lives, mate. <laughs> there's, there's another defender that's in my head for his face, but I can't find his name. Mm. I honestly, I've, honestly, I've... Oh, you give me another five minutes. I don't think I'd find another one. My mind's gone blank. It's one from Aston Villa and one from Newcastle. Oh, and Isaac. One from Spurs. Isaac, oh, and there Kulusevsky. we go. Okay. There we go. Mate, there we go. Just given, you've given away the ghost, mate, I haven't you? Gave, I gave it you. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was just being nice. Wait, who's the Swedish from ten. West Ham? Wait, what did you say? Aston Villa, Newcastle. And... Aston Villa is Olaf Melberg, if you remember. Oh, He's yeah. the centre back, you might be remembering. Yeah, he, um, he wasn't, but. No. <laughs> Come here, matey. We're playing tenable. We're, you need to name in five minutes ten colours. Go. Yellow. Keep going. Green. Here we go. Purple. Red. Blue. That's five. Halfway there. Plenty of time. Black. White. Ooh. Pink. Orange. Hang on, Nep. We're getting cheated here. Cheated here. Turquoise. Oh, what a colour that was, mate. Oh, well that's done. an insane. That's, <laughs> that's an insane a great one. one. Well done. Well done. Mate, turquoise out of nowhere. That was mad. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> yeah. I was saying that black and white might not be technically colours. If no, you're they true. count. They count. They count for a kid. I'll, I'll let him have it. But uh, just for the artists out there, they're technically shades, not, not colours. Right. Your turn to give me one, the five minute one, ideally. Yeah. So I, I don't know if you're going to be on top of this, but not including this season, we need mm -hmm. Derby County's last 10 positions that they finished in the league. Don't have to specify the league, just the yeah. position. Just the position. Okay. I like it. All right. I'll ta start the time in three, two, one, go. Last season. Uh, we finished seventh, Did. so I love that. Well done. Just basically remembering the last few years of pain. <laughs> Before that, we were in the championship, 
and it's whether we finished right at the bottom. I don't think we did finish right bottom. Amazingly, I think we were second bottom, even though we had a points deduction. Um, and it could have even been 20... Oh, it's 20... I'm going to go 23rd. Correct, well done. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Couldn't remember off the top of my head. And then the season before, we just scraped last day of the season, staying up. So that would be... 24. Yeah, 21st. That's correct. Well done. Full knowledge on point. Mm, it's nice to know. It's nice to know I remember the pain. And then you had a period of reasonable success. Decent, yeah, yeah. Mid-table yeah. finishes. I want to say the next one would be 10th. Correct. Yeah, with Philip Koku, if you remember him. I do, Dutch. yeah. Yeah, the Barcelona Holland guy. Player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back at Vitesse now. Then the season before would have been... I think Koku again. It might have been another... I don't know if you had one full season or two. Yeah, I don't think it matters to be fair way compared to where you finished. No. I, th I think even if you knew whether he was a full manager or just a half manager, doesn't give away the uh, the answer. Mm. I will give you give you a hint since you're so kind to me. Every position is above tenth. Right. Okay. Okay. So the next one I'm going to go for is where would it have been? We'll try sixth. It was sixth, and there's two sixes yeah. on there as well. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've finished there a few times. Um, then I'll try a fifth. Uh, there is a fifth back in 15, 16. Yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm halfway through my time. It's a good one, this. It's something we haven't actually done before. I like it. <laughs> Outside the box. It's good. Um, ooh, we would have finished... Oh, but is that in the last... So did you say the last 10? Yeah, so because there's two sixes, we can go back another to the next position. Yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is not above 10. I'll try a 12th. There is a 12th back in 2011, 2012. There for you. So you've got four to go. Four to go? Three to go. Three, I think. Yeah, three Maybe to three. go. Yeah. yeah. With two minutes left. 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15, 16. You're missing out. I'm going to try eighth. Eighth is there. 14, 15. Yeah, um, yeah that was that one. That was the year Steve McLaren spent a load of money and then uh, somehow we bottled it. What numbers are we missing? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to work out. It's in the range of uh, zero oh. to 100. They're in there somewhere. Yeah. 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 Maybe one to 24 because that somebody's in the league. I'll, well, I'll specify a little bit more. There you go. You, you can narrow um, it down. Yeah. Let's try a ninth. Uh, unless you already did ninth, ninth is there. I've not got ninth down, so I'll take it. I'll take the ninth. Yeah. Which means you have still got two answers to go. I've got one more, so I've got nine written down. Oh, yeah, I didn't need to go back another season. I'll give you an easy one, but you've still got one more to get. I don't think I'll get it, to be honest. I don't think I'll get it. I might as well chuck out some random numbers and hope yeah. it lands. <laughs> you've got a lot of lives um, left for it. Yeah, we'll go for a fourth. No, that is not tenable, mate. Make fourth. No, that's, that's awful, mate. Uh, and we'll try a, a third. Yep. That was the one. I'm surprised oh, you didn't get that one right with your on the, knowledge there. Right on the timer. 13, 14, yeah. and you finished third. Yeah, that was the year. Well, I try, I try and forget that year because we got to the playoff final and then Bobby Zamora scores in the last minute to uh, keep us down and then QPR go up. Uh, didn't he used to play for you, Bobby Zamora? No, he didn't. No, oh. no, never. Played for never. almost every single team. <laughs> Everyone else, yeah. just not Toffee. <laughs> he's, a, he's a really efficient player. He did his job, but I just don't like him. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, but yeah, full 10 for me. I'll take that. That was a nice one as well, I think. In a way, you could be just strategic and just... I did, I did try and do it just purely off what I could remember, yeah. but I could have just gone you could just throw the numbers, numbers out, could you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I kind of did at the end there, but yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. It's a nice one. It's different. Um, for the next category nap, you've got no time limit on this one, so you can take all the time you want. Okay. And what I'd like you to name me is the last 10 World Cup winning captains. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. you got to think of the team and then the captain who... Was at the captain of the team. Yeah, but I mean, you're I asking me to go back good... over 40 years worth of captains and nations. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's nearly 40 years. I'll give you that. You can get the last one. You can get the most recent. Let's start with him. Um, I can't remember who won the World Cup. I know France lost in the final. Two. Who's going to win the Ballon d'Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Argentina. Messi was captain, was he? He was. There we yeah, go. There's, there's one to start. I think. I think... You'll get the last, the most recent five. They're the ones that you can get. It's the ones before yeah. like 2000, for example, is where it gets interesting. So the 2018 World Cup winners, I want to say Spain. I know Spain have won a World Cup in the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go for Iniesta. 
It's not in yesterday. He did score in the final he in did. 2010. That was 2010, not 2018. Missing out one of the finals more recently. If you remember England doing well in yeah. Russia. Yeah, who, who was that in the final? Croatia against... France. I'll give you that. Croatia against France. Mm -hmm. But you, you are asking for miracles to remember World Cup winners and their captains. There's some. There's definitely because you'll know all the players here. That's yeah, the thing. But though. the national captains are not always the obvious yeah, players. True. For example, to be fair, like, the France one is actually a little bit niche. I will. I will admit. Yeah. That's it's whether you know he was the captain or not. I mean, like I'm gonna like guess like Loris. It is Hugo Loris. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. He's not really like no like he is the French national captain, but you wouldn't. Yeah, he's not like the obvious. Yeah. 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 Um, when we're going back to we're going back to the eight. 86 is the earliest one, I'll give you that. So if you know one in 86. Probably like Germany. I'd say there's only two names on this list that are really difficult, and then the rest are all... Yeah, but again, it's like... like the, so Brazil have won the World Cup within that time frame. Yeah. yeah. Maybe even twice. France have definitely won it another time as well. And it was... Loris wouldn't have been captain back then. No. Maybe Zidane? They're all... So Dan's a good guess, but it's not the correct answer. Yeah. At least there's another, another life gone. And then for Brazil, it's, it's like, was Cafu still playing? I just don't think he was. Was Danny Alves? He was. Was he captain? Probably not. Was Thiago Silva captain back then? Probably not. Probably a bit too young. Mm -hmm. I think a good way for you, Nep, to do this question is icons on FIFA. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's that's most of them have got icon cards. I think I think like eight or nine out of ten have got icons. Is that right? Yeah. So if in doubt, go icons. <laughs> yeah. Maybe think of their dynamic images. Yeah. Well, I mean, but for Germany, a... Schweinsteiger would be there then. Is that the one you're going for? Well, if you've done me dirty here by telling me about dynamic images, I think images. I've done you dirty. Yeah. Yeah. I think <laughs> I've done I'm, you not, dirty. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going with <laughs> I feel really um, bad that I've gone. Think of icons with dynamic images. Cafu yeah, does have. Point. The World Cup in his dynamic image, but I feel like he's probably too old to have been captain when they won it. I'm gonna go Cafu though. Cafu is correct in 2002. Nice, very nice. Nice. And then the yeah. year, the World Cup before was France winning in '98. Yeah, but and it I wasn't went, Zidane for that. Wasn't year. Zidane? No. Is this one of the tricky ones? Yeah, definitely. The the '94 Brazil and the '98 France are the two tricky ones. I mean, I can remember like some of the big French. Players like you know Vieira and Blanc and such that probably weren't. Mm -hmm. Vieira might have been captain, probably not. And then the other Brazil team. The Brazil have always been weird. Like some, like sometimes I feel like like Pele would have been captain rather than like a defender back in like back in you know the sixties or not. Yeah. Um, I let you know before the ones you're looking for. There's like Beckenbauer, Carlos Alberto, Bobby Moore. Um, there's actually no Pele, so that's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. But the last 10 are like all players that... I think the Brazil one in 94 is the toughest. Yeah. That is the... So I'm, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't, I've not even seen that one. I'm going to guess that Italy won the World Cup during that time frame. Mm-hmm. And most likely, Perlo was the captain. Unfortunately, it's not Andrea Perlo in 2006, so that is all your lives. Who um, was it? It was a icon card. He's a centre back, Italy. It's it not Maldini or it is Cannavaro. Ah. He won it in 2006 because he won the Ballon d'Or that year because he won the World Cup. Yeah. Um, last defender to do it. Some of the names you were missing Germany's uh, Philip Lahm in 2014. Yeah, I would never have got him in a million years. Yeah, Lahm's quite a. You knew him as like the leader at Bayern, but like yeah. there's so many leaders in that Germany team. It could have been Neuer, it could have been Schweinsteiger, like you said, but uh, or closer even. Like he was there still. Um, Casillas in 2010 um, for Spain, but you'd think it might have been Puyol. That's, yeah, that's an yeah interesting see, I would always there. go with defenders. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got Cafu. Uh, the French one in 98 is a manager now. I think he nash yeah, national national team. For yeah, did he have yeah. Champs? Won it with uh, France in 98, and obviously he's won it as a manager. Um, Lothar Matthias in 1990 with Germany, um, and then 86. If you knew it was Argentina, you might have just gone for uh, Diego Maradona. Maradona. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then the trickiest one on here is the 94 Brazil, which is Donga Carlos. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's a rather tricky one. But I thought it would be one that you get like four or five. What do and I then get it's three? getting those. Uh, you got three. So ah, at least well. it, it makes the interest episode interesting. I'll give it that way. Usually I lose these naps, so at least I might win today. 
so, so since you gave like such a difficult one, I'm gonna what I had for your it was nice for your question. Yeah, was top ten goal scorers for England, but now that's gonna be top ten goal scorers and how many goals they've scored. Brilliant. There you go. I can't remember if I've done the top ten itself. So maybe adding the numbers makes it more interesting, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Um, let me think. What are we going for? Well, if you get one, though, right, it's like it gives you a little yeah. bit of leeway to know where like the next sort of people are. Well, the ones at the bottom are only on like the 30s kind of thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. There, there is so one like, lower. That's... Yeah. but Yeah. There's one like with 28, I think. Who knows? Is that... Is... Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> landed, on, landed on something there. But it's like a really old player. There, there is a really old player that has got 28 yeah. goals, Steve Bloomer, yeah, yeah. but he's not in the top 10. Oh, that's the one. So Steve Bloomer played for Derby County. That's why the 28 oh, sticks out gotcha. to me. Because he scored. You know, he's like, oh, basically Thierry Henry. No, well, let's not say things like that. <laughs> um, well, then. So I'm glad Steve Bloomer's not in it because I might have said him for the top 10. But... I know, I know the top three in names are yeah. Kane, Rooney, and Charlton. Correct. But it's the numbers. You know, I think Charlton is easy to remember. The, he's probably the easiest to remember. And the mm. reason why is because of the players around him getting to and, and then surpassing him. his uh, yeah. tally. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like the new, like the news up, like from last week when he passed away. How many goals did they say he scored for England? I was having this debate as well. Like he is the best English player of all time. By far, because he's won he's that World, World Cup. Cup. He's got the yeah. Ballon d'Or, yeah. Champions League, Women's League. Like the only real one to compete with him is probably Rooney at the minute, and then potentially Kane if he can do something with England. Yeah, um, but obviously he's not won trophies so far. So he will this year though. Yeah, you don't so at Bayern. Yeah, and it's <laughs> by Leverkusen. Carry on smashing. Yeah, so whether he's a he's a round number like a fifty. Yeah, we'll try Bobby Charlton for fifty. That is not tenable. That is a shame. Am I supposed to give you the answer? No, because I can no. I can have another go at his <laughs> actual yeah. answer. Let me put the life down. You can technically nap if you wanted to. So you get the three lives and yeah. then you have another life if you want. But if you get that extra one wrong, you lose all the previous uh, points oh, that you okay. gain. So I didn't think you you would want to do that anyway. No. You were, uh, no, no. So I'm got... Just explain all the rules to you as you've uh, <laughs> already answered the question. If it helps, he played 106 <sighs> games. Yeah, I know it's around the 50. That's the thing. It's, it's either one over or like two under or something like that, like a range of some sort. What was Rooney on? Because obviously Kane recently overtook Rooney. Yep. And now he's nearly... Is he at 60, Kane? We've had a few games. When did he score last? Like mean, last game, I think he scored last again. Yeah, that's the thing. These numbers are changing. Yeah. <laughs> Very this is as of 26th of October, 2023. His last match was actually 17th of October, so a couple of weeks ago. I think he's probably gone over 60 then. Oh, we'll try Harry Kane, 61. That is correct. Well done. There we go. There you go. I thought he had like, yeah, 59 before this international break, and then he's yep. got a couple. That is right. Right, I've got one. You have got one. I just, you you, I you will four. you will get... I think I think you'll get four. I I, I actually think the top four yeah, yeah, are yeah. well within reason. Yeah. Well, the thing is with Rooney is I would have looked at his Wikipedia so many times when he was at Derby. Yeah. And then he's gone to Birmingham recently. So now you hate him. And no, like it, it's more. I don't know why Birmingham have got rid of their manager that was in six in the league. Yeah, doing well, doing really yeah. well, unbeaten <laughs> at home, and then bringing in Rooney just for a bit of exposure, kind of thing. Need to get that money, um, don't they, mate? I guess. Yeah, we've got Tom Brady, Rooney. I know he's not. Close to sixty. I know he's, he's over fifty. It's, it's basically fifty to sixty is my range. <laughs> yeah, he's oh. not a round number as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a round person these days. <laughs> That's what America does for you. <laughs> See, so it was no to Bobby Charlton on fifty, right? That's correct. Yeah. So Rooney would have overtook that. So if Bobby Chart, oh, if Bobby Charlton's like fifty-one, and then Rooney's like, we'll try Rooney or. Oh. Rooney 52. That is not tenable. Oh. What I can tell you, though, because it won't help you too, too much with the only one life left as well, is that both yeah. Rooney and Charlton, you was one off, but I won't tell you which way. One off both of them. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I be, like, any more painful? <laughs> oh, Rooney. So I said 52 just. You did, yeah. Let's try a 53 for Rooney. That is Come correct. On. Well done. Thank you. Jesus. I think Rooney would have got more than, like, 
he would have overtaken the record a bit more than just one goal. It would have been a bit weird to finish on, like, you know? Yeah, if, if Bobby retire him straight in the away. 50s, yeah. yeah, you would have got a little bit of a buffer kind of thing. Um, so maybe it's, it's it's basically 51 or 49. Shall I flip a coin? There's a coin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my luck is on at the minute. I think you've got a coin. Where's a coin? You know what they say about flipping a coin, don't they? If you assign something to each heads and tails, as you flip it, you know which one you don't want, which gives you the answer you what you do want. Okay, I'm going to flip this uh, cable box. Um, if it lands that side, I'll go 51, and that's 49 with all the information on the back. It's gone with the it's gone with the cables. We've gone with the cables. No, but why would you go 51? I've, I've flipped the thing and then I'm not even like wanting to do what and, is and, and that's exactly what I said. You'll get the answer that you do want from the answer that you don't want. <laughs> right, we'll go We'll go 49 then. Come 49 on. is correct. And, I, right, I, flip it and so I thought it was fairly common knowledge that Rooney was the first English player to hit 50 goals, ah, which is why I go. thought Bobby Charlton yeah. would be um, easy to get. Easy. Yeah. And the yeah. person below him, I also think is easy because of... What Which I he, think is yeah, what he done yeah. there as well. I think it's Gary. It is Gary. Yeah, but how many Gary would have got? Gary got golden boot at eighty six. He year did. Maradona won it. So there's a good few. Do we just count all the Gary Lineker goals in his England career? <laughs> I think he's over forty four at least. I think he's definitely forty four to four, like forty eight is my range for Gary. I don't know if I can remember anyone else on the list below Gary. Oh, you will. There's yeah. There's two standouts, I'd, I'd argue three standouts. There's Lampard, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's right. Or maybe even, mm, would Gerald be there? No, Gerald's not there. No. There, is, there is a Ballon d'Or Anyone. winner there, though. Michael Owen, then. Yeah. Because <laughs> we've already got Bobby Charlton. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, they're, they're really drift. Like, at least Gary Lineker has been there forever. He like, has. I don't know. And, and then there is one of England's greatest goal scorers of all time, both Premier League and international. Alan, is it? It is, yeah. Alan, yeah. See, I know all the names on there. It's just what numbers they got. It's a more interesting game that you've made, Matt. <laughs> just to torture me. Let's just go, just to save some time and effort. We'll go Gary Lineker, 46. That is not. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Close, but it's not the one. Do you gamble it, man? Do you want to gamble we it? gamble all our points. Well, at the end of the day, it's either a draw for the episode or a win it. Would you have thing. a tiebreaker question? I mean, I mean, we could, but... We'd have to get somebody else... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to come to on in. make up a question. Go on, gamble it. You know you want to. Because you're, like, you're there or thereabouts. I think it's about. even. It's even. That's the thing. I'm sure in my head it's not an odd number. I don't know why that is even there. Come on, we'll, gamb we'll gamble my points. Yep. You win the episode if I lose. Yeah. Surely if you're one goal off Bobby Charlton... You would just you play just on, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just but maybe he had that it, respect for Bobby. Maybe he had that respect and didn't want. Oh. So for that, yeah, I'm gonna for that reason, I'm gonna go Gary Lineker 47. That is that not is... tenable. Oh, it is 48 that? indeed. That is. Oh, that's surely uh, that must be respect for Bobby Charlton. That's the only reason Gary Lineker's stopped. Yeah, on you 48, yeah. Surely. I mean, he I only played know. for the national team for eight years. Yeah. Yeah, just banging him in. Yeah. When did he start? Maybe it was a World Cup year that he started. Oh, no, it wasn't even a World Cup. And did 92. It was after... Um, yeah, because that was the year he went to Japan. That's that's why... Okay, that kind of... I don't know. But, I mean, listen, that's 47 I've, yeah. and 46 were good shouts. Like, like when, when I picked the goals, yeah. I thought, okay, you, you've got no chance here. But because you only needed four points, I was actually a bit worried because, again, it's one of those <laughs> things where I thought that it was like relatively common knowledge for at least the top four because... Gary Lineker was only one away. And I remember when, like, you're not as old as me, mind you, but you're getting there. But when Rooney mm -hmm. was going up through the ranks, it was like, okay, one more for Lineker, then one more for Charlton, then one more for the half century. And I was like, yeah, okay, this is like, if you're a yeah. football aficionado like you are, yeah, you should have got that, to be fair. Should have, should have got it. Yeah. yeah. So that's the difference between winning and losing at the end of the day. Um, yeah. But you've won it, Nep. Well done. Thanks very much. With your, with your three World Cup captains. <laughs> It's made the difference. Oh. If I'd have known that I was playing against you like that as well, I wouldn't have been so stressed about it. I probably would have got five. Because <laughs> I thought I just had to get yeah. all ten, otherwise people would laugh at me. No, no. No, <laughs> no, no. we played quite strategic in the second round. So yeah. It's like more difficult, obviously. Well, I'll have to come back um, on in a, in a week or two now that I know the rules and we'll go again. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah now you know what now you know what you're doing. Cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do check out Nep, drop him a sub and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time. Bye.